Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon us. This week we've been looking at the book of Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 to 31, focusing on the two blind men, the two blind men. And through and through, we have seen that God is calling us to follow him. You know, they followed Jesus, not only following at a distance, they came to where Jesus was actually getting into the house where Jesus entered. And they also cried aloud. This is very, very important. And the crying aloud, brothers and sisters, it's not just about shouting. It's not just about um, saying, Jesus, son of David. No, it's not just about that. God is reminding us the importance of crying to him with an open heart, openly and re releasing ourselves to him that he may lead us and that he may, he may take charge over our lives. They were keen to ensure that they stated clearly what they wanted. They pleaded for mercy. They were saying, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We can also plead for mercy, calling upon the Lord, stating exactly what we want from God. God is ready to listen to us. And we say it, the other thing is that God is always willing to involve us even in the great experiences that he's allowing us to experience. And this is where Jesus got to a point of asking the, the two blind men, do you believe I can do this? Do you believe? And they said, yes, Lord. And by saying so, the Bible says that he touched their eyes and their eyes were opened. Praise the Lord. When we believe, when we put our trust in God, he will take us to the next level and our situation will change. Our participation or our response to God's expectation will lead us to the next level where we want to be. They were touched and their eyes were opened. Now in verse number 31, we see that these people, though in verse 30 they had been told, let no one know about it. They went in verse number 31, but they went away and spread his fame through all the district. In other words, they became true witnesses of who Jesus is. They became true witnesses of what Jesus did to them. They went and spread this fame, you know, the fame of Christ the message of success, the message of healing, the message of intervention throughout all that district. The Lord is reminding us that in all this, he is calling us to be his witnesses. We go and witness to other people out there without shame, without fear. The two blind men who were bound somewhere by their blindness, now they are able to move around the entire district. When Jesus sets you free, when he changes your story, nothing will bind you. Nothing will tie you. You'll be able to witness and speak of his oracles all over because God is calling us to be his witnesses. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Follow him. Call upon him. Tell him your matter. You know, openly spread the good news of what the Lord has done unto you. The Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Shalom. Bye.